Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the following albums that I'm going to review during this following week. Um, hopefully this can be a little bit exciting because uh, it's actually a quite various set of albums. It's quite an eclectic list of albums. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the first album that I checked out that I'm going to review during next week is uh, Mutoid Man's newest album, which is called War Moans. So these guys are a versatile metalcore band. They create everything from hardcore punk to uh, mathy prog rock to neo-psychedelic rock. Yeah, it's, it's a mix of everything, really. I haven't checked out these guys that much. I haven't heard of them before either. I really haven't heard of any of these artists that I'm going to review during this week, but uh, I checked out a few of uh, Mutoid Man's songs from this, this new album, and I have to say that what I heard, or at least my first impression, is pretty good. They had some very catchy songs on here that just, like, instantly hit me in, in a positive way, so um, so that's good. So it's been a long time since I've listened to any hardcore, like, math prog albums in general. I've listened to a lot of uh, hard rock and psychedelic rock bands lately, and I'm just so tired of listening to psychedelic rock. Uh, there's a little bit of psychedelic thing, like a psychedelic side to this band as well. If I rem remember cor correctly from what I read, it's a neo-psychedelic part to this album, but hey, it's gonna be good anyways, I think. Or at least I hope. So next up we have Chastity Belt, and I have forgotten to write down the album name, so I'm just gonna check that up real quick. So Chastity Belt is a psychedelic rock band from the US, and they have put out a new album, which is called I Used to Spend So Much Time Alone. <laughs> Ah, psychedelic rock. I've listened to so many psychedelic rock bands lately, like the Psychedelic Porn Crumpets, Subsonic Eye, some other bands that I can't come up with that I ha don't have it on top of my mind right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give Chastity Belt a try. <laughs> they have almost half a million monthly followers, so uh, hopefully that means that they do create some good music. Um, at least that is what my expectation is. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep an open mind about this uh, band, about this album as well. And uh, yeah, let's see what it is. Next artist up, next album, next artist is uh, Benjamin Booker. Among many people, he is known as a new breed of bluesman because he is um, he's creating blues and he's blending this electronic blues genre with um, garage punk. So that's quite an interesting genre blend there. I also remember reading in the bio on Spotify that he had a connection with Jack White, and that is kind of cool. And and I see the link there because Jack White is very, very blues, very, uh, yeah, very old-fashioned American pre-rock era inspired. Um, and and it's the same with Benjamin Booker. He has this, at least from the first songs that I listened to, he has this old blues style, and it mixes it with something that is a little bit harder, a little bit rougher around the edges. Um, and there you have the punk side of it. And yeah, this is actually quite interesting, to be honest. Never heard of Benjamin Booker before. Never really listened that much to blues, blues rock, or uh, garage punk. So uh, yeah, this is something that I just would love to dive into. I don't know if any of you guys have listened to any of these artists, but if you have, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to it? Are you not? Oh, we have one more artist. I almost forgot. Last one is called Cody Chestnut. And he has put out a new album, which is called My Love Divine degree and uh, this is actually also a very interesting album which is far away from from the past three albums that I mentioned this is leaning more towards pop 
funk and also rock. So it's a, it's a mixture of these three. At least that is what I got from it. So this was the album that kind of captured me the most when I started listening to it because it was it was really catchy, first of all. Some of the songs were very, very memorable. Tracks that really made me just want to move my body. I, I wanted to dance when I listened to it, which is a pretty good indicator that I will come to like the music more in the future. For some reason, I just imagined Cody Chestnut to be some type of a rapper. And I, I hope that he wouldn't be a rapper because I'm not reviewing any rap music. I'm just keeping myself to the rock side of things as, as much as possible, at least. I don't know why I thought he was a rapper. I don't know, something about his name was just... Sounds to me like that is more of a rapper name, like Cody Chestnut, some, some grime rapper from the UK or something. I don't know. But yeah, that is basically all the albums. We have some... Some funk, some funk rock here, blues, punk, metalcore. We have some psychedelic rock coming up. So there's a very, very eclectic list of artists, of bands. So uh, yeah, I'm super, super excited for this. I hope that you're excited for this. And I need to take some time off my schedule to actually just sit down and listen to music. Because that is something that I, you know, I listen to music all the time but I don't feel like I listen to it in a very condensed, in a very free environment. Uh, it's it's kind of hard for me. I, I need to push myself into new music, sometimes even if I don't necessarily feel like it, but it's something that I'm doing because I feel like the purpose of this channel is just as important as listening to music in itself. I wanna help you guys to have more a more meaningful experience with music. And that is what I'm doing here. So, uh, so yeah. But anyways, enough about my really hectic life. Let's just get into the uh, reviews during the next week, during tomorrow and the next following days. And uh, yeah. If you like to share, explore and learn about rock music from Bandcamp, then I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below. And also remember to click the bell icon beside the subscribe button because in that way you'll always get notified when I upload new videos here on this beautiful place. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope to see you later. Stay tuned. Bye. Uh, mm -hmm.